just announced at CES 2022, the big consumer electronics show, Roborock's new wet dry upright floor cleaner. This is the Roborock Dyad. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and the Dyad was just delivered here to my test kitchen, so I'll tell you what this upright is made to do, what it works well for and what it doesn't, how well it cleans overall, and if I think it might be a valuable gadget for your home. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and do consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. The Roborock Dyad is a fully cordless, wet-dry stick vacuum and mop with some unique features that set it apart from other stick cleaner models. The Roborock Dyad has two separate containers, one for clean water and or cleaning solution, and another for wastewater. As well, it's got dual plush rollers on the bottom that help pull in and suck up the dirt, debris, and wet messes while wiping up the floor's surface too. The device comes with a docking station that will keep it charged and handy. What might be very unusual about this device is that it doesn't need an app or your smartphone to work. The mop and vacuum unit has a swiveling head which makes it quite maneuverable. Unlike some other models, the Dyad doesn't have an adjustable handle but it does have a fairly comfortable round hand grip. To use this device, you'll fill the small tank with fresh water. Now you don't actually need a lot of water and this small tank is actually more than enough for several days of cleaning without a refill. The small water volume also means it's not flooding the floors so much as it is dampening the rollers and scrubbing with them. Plus with less water, the floor dries faster too. The Roborock Dyad will clean with just water or water and Roborock's cleaning solution. And for this review, I didn't have the solution, so I went with water only. Now, when you turn the vacuum on, you'll notice it'll tug itself forward. The rollers are powered and between scrubbing rollers and the forward motion, it really doesn't take much work from you to clean pretty deeply. I tried out the Roborock Dyad in various at-home situations. I used it simply as a vacuum, and on all my vacuums I try it out on things like fine flour, spills like rice or oats, and bigger debris like crackers. While the vacuum does pick it all up, it does kind of form a wet mess inside the dirty water tank and the internal filter can fill up quickly. With that said, it does a good job of keeping the debris out of the water. When it came to the floor mopping capabilities, I was able to try it on kitchen spills and things like coffee grounds. Here, the Roborock Dyad shines. Unlike some mopping robots that simply wipe, the spinning brushes underneath the dyad power dried messes and debris off the floor and tackle wet and dry messes with ease. Similarly, it was able to clean up small spills, though I do advise you to empty the dirty water bin and run a cleaning cycle, particularly if you're wiping up something like milk. I used the dyad on tile and hardwood, and it did a great job on both. I didn't find that it left the floors too damp or streaky either. When you're finished cleaning, pour out the dirty water tank, and I was genuinely surprised at how dirty the water was in some cases. That built-in strainer in the dirty water bin is designed to make things like hair removal quick and easy so it doesn't clog up your plumbing, and I found it worked really well. This little basket is also significantly larger and easier to deal with than another similar wet dry vac I recently tested thanks to its big basket cup design. The roller cover will also remove with a simple click, and it should be rinsed off too. With the cover off, you can also to slide the roller brush out and easily give it a rinse and then remove any tangled hair or fibers. When emptied and rinsed, you can return the Roborock Dyad to its docking station, which both charges the Dyad as well as does a self-cleaning cycle when you hit a button, not to mention the fact the tray base keeps it from moistening flooring. Charging. Emptying the dirty water tank. If needed, the vacuum will even give you a reminder about emptying the dirty water bin. The Dyad's self-cleaning cycle helps to keep dirt from building up inside, but unlike another bot I recently tried, the Dyad here does not prompt you with this, at least it didn't during my review period and the manual doesn't really mention it. I did, however, get asked if it could wash the rollers for me, which seems to involve spinning them on the charging dock or on the mat, I guess, for about 30 seconds. I'm not really clear what this is supposed to do. The vacuum has a small LED screen where it displays what it calls the dirt level. This bar seems to kind of change at will, but if it's supposed to be identifying dirty areas, it didn't really seem to be very accurate to me. Sometimes shady or particularly bright areas or dark floors would set it off in different ways. That LED screen, by the way, will also give you battery level and let you know if the tank is full and make notes about any potential problems. 
The Roborock Dyad has a floor drying mode that will run the rollers essentially without adding any more water to the floor, which is great if you're hoping to get all that residual wetness removed. On a full charge, the Roborock Dyad should give you about 35 minutes of total cordless cleaning running time. Overall, I am really happy with how this floor cleaner performs. It powers dried on dirt from both my tile and my hardwood floors, and I love the versatility of the wet dry performance here, since it means I don't need to worry about vacuuming first, then mopping. The addition of a drying mode is also a nice added touch. The debris filter is also big and really easy to clear out. Downsides with this guy? It is a bit on the heavy side, but I guess the truth is since you're not carrying it around, it's kind of pulling itself, it really shouldn't be a huge issue. I can definitely recommend the Roborock Dyad for your hard floors. The Dyad will be available in Amazon in the US in February, selling for about 449 US dollars. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have. You can also post them here in comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.